Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and today we have a little nostalgic bit for this channel. One of the first games that I ever really did a full playthrough of, in fact I did a full playthrough of this game technically twice at this point, was Yumi Nikki, a game that was uh, pretty much uh, like LSD Dream Emulator, a game that bounced you from place to place. It had a uh, very, 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 very dark story, especially once you got to the end of it. I remember actually uh, remembering live streaming the end of the game where I was playing through the last hour, an hour and a half, and completely shocked at what happened, what what it uh, what it exactly led up to. But I figured I'd cover it because Yumi Nikki is such an awesome little experience. It spawned a lot, a lot of different fan games, a lot of different types out there. But nothing actually ever really comes close to what the original really is, both in the soundtrack, both in experiences, and what you really uncover. Now, I'm not really going to start some new kind of a playthrough, but I'm going to look at the new version of the game that came out, the one that released, I guess, officially on Steam, version 0.10a. Yumi Nikki, ladies and gentlemen, produced by Kiki Yama. Now, there's a bunch of other games coming out, especially what seems to be a full-on remake, which once that comes out, I'll definitely make a video of. But for now, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy a nice Saturday when it comes to playing one of the original classics, at least on this channel. So yeah, first of all, it's going to give you the how to play, which is you start off in your bedroom, you get out of your bed, you go to the dream world, and then from there you just jump around and find effects and whatnot. So I'm going to go see if basically things sort of happen over here at this point. Of course, if you leave out, you're at a, you're at your apartment, a lovely little JPEG in the background. Um, I think anybody that's definitely played the original knows exactly where the shit goes to. But from what I recall, you end up going to sleep. It gives you a little, uh, little indication. And then here you are. You wake up in the dreamland. I think the background changed out a little bit, let me tell you that much. First of all, let me uh, kill the sound down a little bit, at least on my end. Because this is one hell of a loud game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Anyways, let's continue on with this. So, yeah, you go over here, and then I believe all you do is you can leave the room from this point on, and you wake up in the Nexus area, which over here you can pick any single door you want, and from here you basically jump around. The way I remember beating this when it first uh, came out was that, first of all, for the first half of the playthrough, I dicked around and did what I could. Oh god, the music is so fucking amazing for this game, dude. You could just literally listen to it in the background, which is what I kind of did when I was editing it. I actually had the soundtrack to this game just playing in the background while I cut stuff. But I remember basically playing this game, and, uh... First of all, let me check if there's any effects. No, I don't think there was any effect in, the, uh, in this part of the game over here at all. But yeah, I remember the first half of the game, I dicked around half the time in my playthrough, finding random ass effects. Until there was this one point halfway into it, especially on like a live stream, that somebody had linked me the map for this game, quote unquote. Map in the f sense that it basically told you where to bump into, what to interact with, so it would knock you into a different part of the game, right? Or a different part where you could get all the effects you wanted. And that map was pretty fucking vital for me finishing the game because other than that, I was really just dicking around doing nothing. It basically was what you're seeing right now is a, a, times a thousand. At least still right now, I don't know where the fuck to go at all because it's been so long since I played. But at least, at least I know genuinely where I'm supposed to go. So here in the sewer in the underground area, I believe you get one of the effects in this part of the world. Think of this as like the violence district from LSD. One thing that I'm glad about this game is it does not have any screamers, which, okay, we got a giant little uh, puffball over here. No, that was not an effect, but there actually could be a point where you uh, could use an effect to get past that. If I recall, there is one effect in the game called the knife, where it literally can kill any, I guess you could say dynamic entity in the game. Like, you could just walk up to shit and stab them, it would make this, like, really loud ear piercing like ah like screaming noise and motherfuckers be dead you know you could run around stabby stabby all you want but i think there is one effect over here in this little town area or at least drawings are supposed to find but yeah no there is like one place you gotta go to like the moon and shit you wake up on a spaceship this game is a weird uh, dream simulator i guess you could say it's like rpg maker lsd to an extent except it makes a little bit of sense Okay, so what's over here? Yeah, you could like stab these little things, these little fucking do not disturb signs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a little new. I didn't see that piece of graffiti before, but it doesn't seem like I can absorb anything, which kind of fucking sucks dick, but it is, it is what it is. 
We're just gonna keep on going around, seeing if we can find one effect. Oh, no, you got another one of those things in this apartment district area. It's kind of nice to know that nobody has their fucking light on. Everyone is sleeping uniformly at this apartment, man. All right, we got this little sink out of nowhere. Okay, this I do not recall. I think this is kind of kind of new. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a little fucking new, dude. I did not recall this shit. I, th I think parts of this game has definitely been changed, which does lead credence to me playing it again, I guess in some way, shape, or form. What the hell is that thing in the middle? Got, you got a little ghost up there. See, I do not remember this part from the original game. This, this, is this I think is brand new. What the fuck, dude? This I think is totally brand new. See, there's a reason why people told me to play this game. Sorry, ghost. Again. Wait, can I talk to you, ghosty? Oh, there it is. You got the faceless ghost. So now, now you got like an effect, see? And, mm, get, get up. Okay, the one is, I guess, sit down. So here it is. You go to effect. And yeah, it's got tutorial, but yeah, you can become a faceless ghost. So you got like no face at all. I don't know if that does anything, but it is an effect that we end up getting. Now, I believe in the game, there's total like 20, 30, 25, 20, 20 to 30 effects you gotta go fucking get before the game allows you to end, just quote unquote. I don't believe where to where to really wake up from. I think I just have to sit down maybe for like three seconds before it lets me wake up. Whoa! What the fuck? Well, actually, you know, wait, Screamers, thinking of Screamers, there is one Screamer in this game that is called Uboa, which uh, if you go to this like happy fucking, I think it's like a happy flower house or some shit like that. Like it's a really happy place, but upon entering, you basically, oh, c come on, man. What the fuck? Well, let's enter this. Uh, alrighty then. Okay. This is a little unsettling. I don't remember this shit, dude. But there's this one place called Uboa in the game that, like, fucking. It's this really happy home that you go into or try to, and there's like a one in like 18, like one in a hundred chance, sorry, for this shit to spawn and spook you. I found it, but after that was after like 20 minutes of like doing shit. Okay, there's people on spikes now. There's windmills. I don't remember the windmill shit, dude. What the fuck, dude? There's like new shit in this that I don't remember. What the hell? Okay, you got a little, uh, you got the little fucking <laughs> manaphies down there. <laughs> What's going on? Oh man, you know, this game has a great uncanny ability of making it feel like you actually smoked a pound of crack cocaine without you actually smoking a pound of crack cocaine. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell am I playing? Oh man. But it takes me back, dude. This music is so chill. You could like fall asleep to this shit, dude. It's amazing. It's like, it's just, it's so, it's so chill. Ugh. Anyways, let's uh, let's try to see. I think there's another effect. I think this is where you actually get the quote-unquote knife effect. Oh, no, I don't want to go down there back in... What? How the fuck did I get back there, you know? Okay, well, it seems like you cannot use the vending machines. I'm not going to go back down there. I've already seen that shit. Let's go look around this place. If not, we can wake up and try another doorway into the magical world. So, ooh, what the hell? <sighs> Motherfuckers, you need Jesus in this game, dude. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. No, but what I do know is that in this version of the game, I guess maybe I was playing like a really early build or something because I'm starting to see enemies that I don't really remember. I gotta, one thing I gotta do after this video is fire up the old Yumi Nikki playthrough and like maybe sit down and watch all of it because it's weird. I know like I had, I don't know how many parts I had for it, like 10, 11 parts. Uh, I mean, they were, they were fairly lengthy each and I was dead. Like I got, I got to watch the OG playthrough to really make sense of what I'm seeing over here because it was a game that I almost didn't beat just because like, it's just, it's just confusing as fuck. All right. It's weird, man. Like you, you, you sit down and you play this shit for like an hour and a half and it, it fucks with you. <laughs> it's like, what's going on, dude? But whatever, though. It, it, it is what it is, dude. It is the charm of Yumi Nikki. There is, like, a doorway somewhere over here. There's, like, a little place where, like, a bouncer meets me and I'm not allowed to pass the digital nightclub world. And no, I didn't make that shit up. That's actually what happened. I'm pretty damn sure. Whatever it is over here, though, these, these, uh, these lads are pretty docile creatures. 
don't know what that thing is. I'm like, what the fuck is, what the, what the hell is that nonsense over there? <laughs> What's going on? I think we, I think if we keep diverting different paths, we might get somewhere faster. There's a little parrot over there in front of us. It's, uh, <laughs> oh man. You know, you know, you know, the best experiment is like, if you play this game with somebody, you just sit at the opposite end of the room and you hear them try to explain what the fuck they're seeing. That is a, that is a treasure trove right there. I don't think there's anything over here, really. Oh, no, this is, a, this is definitely a bigger part of the room. Okay, that, that, that's a fucking lion on meth, man. Come on, dude. That's a gecko lion on meth, people. All right, I know what this is. Got Peter the Piranha Plant up here. <laughs> the hell? Oh, you got these little, you got these little fucking, you got these little schizophrenic. Like, like, wh what? <laughs> Look at that! They're like, they're, like little, they're like little penis worms that change color all the time, dude. Psychedelic penis worms. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, meth is a hell of a drug, man. Well, I don't think there's anything in this world. I'm gonna switch out of this because I feel like I'm gonna get fucking epilepsy like crazy. Holy fuck. That is, a, that is not a world I want to embroil myself in. Let's head back to bed and see what we can do. All right, wake up in the dream world. Uh, again, I don't know why the background keeps changing. It's kind of a kind of a weird situation. Ooh. Well, see, in the dream world, you don't really get access to the game console. Just that weird conundrum on your TV. Let's go enter this door, okay, with a little big, nice uh, red dot on it. All right, that, that's, uh, that's... Okay. All right, this door had like a puzzle to it. Like, see how it has numbers on it? Four, 36, okay, this is definitely different. There was not this many numbers in the original version of the game. Oh my God. And the music, man, this music is desolate. Jesus Christ. Well, they got arcades on the wall, like arc, like, I don't know if that's faces, arcade stuff on the wall. It's got little springs with like, with like hands and shit coming out of it. Life, 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 life was not good to this, <laughs> this realm, dude. <laughs> That's for damn sure. All right, let's let's see let's see where we can find the things over here. We got like okay, all right. That's that's not that's not that's not kosher. What what the hell is that shit? You know what? If y'all motherfuckers are gonna be weird, I'm gonna walk around as a faceless ghost. Okay, all right. If that doesn't scare you, fucking you know, abominations. I don't know what will, dude. Look at that door at the bottom. What? What? Ugh, it's weird, dude. It's weird. I would, oh, this is where the bouncer shit was. So this guy, you actually, if you have a knife, you have to stab him and get to the door in the back. But see, I don't have a knife, so that dude, that dude is safe as fuck. Oh man. Okay, let's let's go back out of here. At least I know the puzzle for this area right now. But I need the knife if I'm ever gonna do anything like that, right? Let's go back in and see what else we can find in uh, in Yumi Nikki lands. All right, so we, we, we entered some pretty weird realms, I gotta say, so far. All right, door number something. I don't even know if no, ooh. All right, red door. What the hell? I think I know this part of the map. I want to say that I know this, but apparently I do not recall this part, dude. It's like puddles of water and reflections right at the top. But yeah, that's basically what most of this game is. It's just wandering and getting effects. I believe that there's like some story to piece out through this. I'm not exactly sure, but I feel like there is. There was a different version of the game, though. It was like Yumi Nikki 3D, which... Fuck, I really enjoyed that game, dude. It, it, it had, it had a, it had a, it, it was, it, ooh, we got a lamppost. I think this is an effect. No, we just turn it on, dude. Yeah, we got, dude. Now, now we're, now we're wasting electricity in this realm. That's, that's, uh, that, that, that's, that's for damn sure. Anyway, up over here. No, I feel like there should be an effect somewhere around here. I keep sort of bumbling around doing what I can do, but I just feel like, I feel like part of my, ooh, another light post. I feel like that's a, that, that might be the puzzle to this realm, you know? Now, as far as I can tell, the grid here repeats itself and shit. But, uh, yeah, no. A lot of this game is mostly just wandering around, piecing yourself through. I guess if it's the best way to play this, it's probably building your own map as you play. Like, uh, you know how we used to play, like, Metroid and shit back on the NES? 
Like, we used to make our own fucking, you know, let's try this way, this way, and up, left and up. But I remember back in the day of fucking Metroid, we used to build, like, we used, we used to draw our own maps on paper, because the game never had a map system, right? So this game is pretty much the same way, in that you should probably start drawing, like, maps and shit as you go through. You should actually, technically, I guess, write your own dream diary, if we're gonna be all, if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna, like, you know, game within the realms of fucking, <laughs> of what, of, uh, game within the bounds, I guess. Write your own dream journal as you play this shit, because that's really the only way you're mapping yourself through. At first, it might be a game that frustrates. Oh, ooh, we already lit that one. I can tell it's like a little breadcrumb trail, dude. Got that shit, dude. I figured it out. God, it's like a little. Well, I didn't figure it out. It's my own breadcrumb trail. It's, it's how I lie to myself and tell myself that I'm making progress. Well, apparently, I'm not really making anything. But see, that's how you can sort of tell the game world is cyclical. Because it just keeps re like, of course over there the like it just it's it's sort of like Pac Man like you go one end and you come out the other. I don't think there's anything else in this realm. Maybe I'm, like you know that you're supposed to make effects because you're supposed to get like a list of effects. Some effects actually change the entire world or the perception of it. Some effects actually transport you straight out to another part of the world as you use them. So yeah, this game is basically. Oh wait, I think that's an effect. Yes. Yeah, the umbrella effect. Bam! We got effects, dude. Yes! Alright, you know what? I think what we got over here, ladies and gentlemen... So what we essentially got, ladies and gentlemen, was, uh... Fucking Yumi Nikki. Uh, now, this is a version 0.1, so I think more updates might be coming out of this at some point, but apparently that was Yumi Nikki. I played this game for about... Uh, an hour or something at this point, so it's not really a whole lot much more that we can really look around into it. It is a interesting game, and it was nice to actually go back to it, dude. A little nostalgic trip back to what I initially played got re-released again. I might play a little bit more of this if I do stream or something like that, but I'm personally waiting for the full-on like community remaster type deal that's showing up on Steam and like. I think six day a week now so we might look at that but for now i'm gonna back out of this video and uh, hopefully you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe dislike if you dislike it this has uh, been yumi nikki with me mudahar i am out